Hey guys, I'm Ryu Dan. And I'm Otaku Ken. And guess what we just watched? Did we like it? Well, let's we'll just find out. So we just saw Toy Story 4 the other day. Uh, what do we think of it? Well, let's take a look at our hearts. That sounds about right. Yeah. I mean, when Toy Story 3 came out, we all thought that was the end. Yep. It was the goodbye to Andy. You know, a new story begins. Little did we know it was actually going to be a new story beginning. <laughs> to <laughs> the end. We went on a whole new level of what the heck just happened. <laughs> exactly. But uh, let me just point out a few things. Who, whoever saw, spoilers ahead, everyone. Let me just make one thing clear. Yes, I do think that Bonnie treated Woody like crap, but, but... The good guy wins, gets the girl, and the monkey steals the show. <laughs> there, you have the plot to every movie ever. <laughs> okay, so people think that Bonnie was a terrible character in this movie because of the way that how Woody was treated. Okay, I can agree with that somewhat, but the problem is this. She's a child? She's a kindergartner. <laughs> they always do that. We've done that. I cannot blame Bonnie for being a kid. Although her dad was a dick. Stepped on Woody twice. <laughs> Seriously. Who stepped... Okay, what parent steps on their to children's toys? I mean, he's not blind. I mean, he's got glasses, but he's not blind. Yeah, she was blind. I'm positive that you still feel something under your shoe. Do you feel that weird lump there? Yeah, that's my head. Can you get off? <laughs> You're fucked on my head. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, can you imagine that one? Yeah. Oh, or like a, a Sid moment. <laughs> we toys see everything. So stop stepping on my head. <laughs> we toys can see everything. So quit stepping on my head. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, anyways, so story begins like this. We see a little bit of backstory with Andy again, back to when he was a kid. Yeah. Bo Peep and her lambs. Billy Goat Gruff, I remember better than what he did, mm -hmm. are sold to another kid. Not uh, Well, I think they were given away, and I think it was more than just her uh, Bo Peep's uh, lamp. It was a few things, but uh, that was the main focus right there. Yeah. What he wanted to save her and all that, but she said, it's time for me to go to another kid. Time yep. to pass the torch on, basically. It's, it's the, the, the circle of toys. Yep. Some toys get left outside and forgotten. Other toys get passed on. And some get rescued from a storm drain. Whatever happened to R.C.? Sad. Motor probably died. That is really sad there, dude. You just made it real dark now. I mean, that's what happened to my RC car. But, okay, so anyways, years later, after the third movie, Bonnie's playing with everyone except for Woody. He's left in the closet. Put him in the dust bunny. Call him Dusty. <laughs> but, uh, anyways, Bonnie's going to kindergarten. First day. Oh, right. But she faces one thing that many kindergartners face. I don't know where you're going with this. The fact that she has to go to kindergarten. Oh. She's new. She doesn't know anybody. Well, to be fair, I don't remember that far back. I kind of remember that far back. Although my first kindergarten teacher was... I mean, that was 22 years ago. I honestly do not remember that far back. Yeah. I guess you remember the bad memories more than you do the good memories. Because I remember the, the my first kindergarten teacher did not like me all because I couldn't speak. I had a problem speaking. But, uh... Yeah, she's new in class... She's trying to make friends. They're going to make some art stuff. She has a little thing at her table. Kid comes by with an apple in his mouth. Hi. <laughs> Take this stuff and runs off. I was like, you little turd. You can at least say hi back. And she starts crying. She, when she starts crying, I was like, I want to go and give her a hug now. I'm Even telling Woody you. Woody felt sad. Because Woody snuck in. He wasn't supposed to be there, but he snuck in. He, he snuck into their backpack. Which... Was well, actually a nice thing to do. Yeah. Good idea. Because he actually got her supplies without her noticing. Mm -hmm. And then she made a new best friend. Forky! Who was a spork. Some reason named Forky! <laughs> hey, what do you expect? Kindergarten's name. To be fair, I, I completely understand. I mean, heck, I have a stuffed animal bunny, uh, rabbit that I named Bunny. I mean... <laughs> well, there was... Well, Grisha Robin didn't have rabbit named Rabbit. Piglet with a pig. 
Pooh was the only one who didn't have anything related to his, uh... Yeah, Kanga, Bro, Owl. Eeyore was unique. Yeah. That's about it there. Tigger was just Tiger pronounced weird. Yeah. But, uh, anyways, as soon as Forky goes in the backpack with Woody, he comes to life. Trash? <laughs> For, like, an hour of this movie. <laughs> He's trying to throw himself away. All Forky says is trash. And runs to the trash can. Trash, 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 trash. I actually love Forky, so... <laughs> I like Forky in the second half. The first half I could have gone without. I am not a toy. I am trash. Jumps up the RV. Yeah, okay. Freedom! <laughs> Man. Okay, so yeah, Forky doesn't like being a toy. He wants he wants to be what he Bonnie what he is to wants. Forky. No, how is it? Uh, Forky is... The trash is the Forky. What Forky is the Bonnie. Trash? Trash. No! <laughs> that means... I'm her trash, and she needs her trash. I'm coming, buddy. There you go. It's like, okay, well, you kind of got it. Yeah, you kind of yeah, got so it. So you're on a road trip. Woody is trying to make sure that Forky does not throw himself away the whole time. Trash, 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 yeah, trash. Yeah, because Woody feels like he's not really doing anything anymore. Yeah. He feels, how, do I, how is it put nowadays? Um, Left behind, unwanted, trash. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, to be fair, I mean, he is a toy from the 50s. That is true. Full string still works. That comes later on. Yeah! There is... Somebody poison the water hole! There is a snake in my boot! Who are you calling stupid, stupid? That's right. I'm talking to you, Sid. <laughs> I don't know how he did that one. Because they don't talk through their voice box. Ventriloquism? I don't know. <laughs> mm. But, uh... Before he jumped out a window during the road trip, although everybody's asleep, except for Woody, Woody jumps out too. Well, kind of. He just kind of... Ah! He stumbles. Yeah. Uh, convinces Forky to come back to Bonnie because he's very special to Bonnie. And the unicorn tries to get that dad arrested. <laughs> so many times. I got it. We can get the police involved. Frame him into that for murder, they had him arrested. We are not doing that. <laughs> so many of those are the movie, too. Just people saying that. Uh, so, anyways. There's a running gag. What do you expect? Yeah. So, Woody and Borky finally get to where they need to be, almost. Right next to Carnival's, the RV place that they're parked in. Uh, Woody finds Bo Peep's lamp. And an antique shop. Really nice. Yeah. So, he goes in, he's trying to find Bo Peep. Bo? 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 Bow! 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 And then we meet probably the creepier kind of uh, toys in this story, Slappy the Dummy from Goosebumps. That doesn't talk. <laughs> and he just does this thing. Nah. <laughs> I thought like, nah. we were in the theater and they showed up. The first thing it did was. <laughs> People behind us going, no, 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 no. <laughs> like they're trying to get away from the TV with a screen. I was like, that, that, that is creepy. It's very accurate. Yeah. Then we meet the antagonist, I believe. Be the sort word. of. Not, not villain. Uh, Gab, Gavin Gabby? Gabby Gabby. Gabby Gabby. Basically another pull string doll who's... Voice is not working well. Yeah, uh, out of the box. Hi, I'm Gabby. Uh, out of the box, her voice box was broken. Her record was fine, but her voice box itself was broken. So she wanted Woody's. Forcibly wanted Woody's. Didn't ask. And three more dummies popped up. Yep. They multiplied. And the way they run, too. Like, they weren't running like how Woody's doing, like, because they're dummies. They're like, yeah. He almost broke the chair. <laughs> but, uh, Borky gets caught by them, and Woody is trying to get help. Let's see. I don't know. He gets taken away by a little girl, but he's doing one of the smartest things. He pulls it on a string. I mean, I heard her pulling her own leg, but. Yeah. The little girl is taken to the park. She leaves him in the swing where he just jumps out. 
all of a sudden, he runs into, I guess what we call the Lost Toys. Yeah. The toys that get played with at the park. Did somebody say my phrase? No, Herbert, we didn't say Lost Boys, we said Lost Toys. Oh. <laughs> but uh, he does run into someone that honestly had a major change over the years. Bo Peep. One th question I wish they would have answered, what happened to her pink dress? I guess it is. Got ruined being outside all those years. I see. She said she was out there for seven years, something like that. But I mean, her it could have gotten broken before then. Yeah, uh, her sheep are driving a driving around a R robotic skunk. <laughs> it's an RC car with a skunk overlay, so people think it's a running skunk. Yeah, and I think I was Bo, genius. Bo Peep had become a great character in this movie. Like, oh was, yeah, like the first one, she was basically the the reasoning voice for Woody. She didn't do much in Toy Story 2, because she was left behind when Woody got kidnapped. Yeah. And she was already sold off by 3. Yep. And here? Oh, uh, for record, so from the time of the start of this movie to the time that Bo Peep got given away, that was nine years. They said nine years ago before the flashback. Mm. So that means she was, if she was there for seven years, that means she was with that other kid for two. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. Sad. Yep. But, uh, anyways, uh, Woody tells Bo that they have to go say Forky. She don't know who he is. She didn't hear the name. She doesn't think anything of it, which who would? Yeah. Well, they go to the fairgrounds and the skunkmobile. I'm just calling it that. That's an easy way to put it. <laughs> yeah. They get caught under the, the carousel. And when Bo Peep tries to help him up. The carousel of progress. <laughs> There's no progress there. Although, funny gag later on. <laughs> but as soon as Bo Peep goes to help up Woody. <laughs> her arm popped off. I think people screamed and laughed at the same time that happened, didn't they? Yes. I think it was shocked for scream and then laughing when she starts laughing. I'm like, she pulled one over on him. He, she was pulling his arm. Which and is weird because usually the pulling the leg. Yeah. Here's your arm back. <laughs> yeah. So I guess it made clear that she was basically porcelain? Something yeah. like that. Yeah. Glass. Whatever. Uh, but, okay. Clay. S something fragile. And they make it to, anyway, they go up to the carousel, and they make it over to the antique shop by jumping. Now, during this time, Buzz is trying to figure out how to help Woody, because Woody says, the only reason I'm doing this is because of my conscience. You know, the little voice inside. Hell, that's who they help me on! So, in other words, he thinks his conscience, his inner voice, is actually the button he pushes. Yeah, his voice box. To which it has helped out a little bit. Oddly enough. So, he jumps out of the RV when it's parked, thankfully. And, uh, winds up getting caught by a human who runs a, a rigged stand. Oh, yeah, the, the game, the game, uh, one but, of those shooting galleries at a carnival. Yeah, to where you hit the little thing. Go ahead, hit it. It don't move. Well to, be, waited. well, to be fair as well, those they, they, it's not so much they were weighted. I mean, the kid did miss pretty bad. True. But Buzz does run into two characters, and I swear to you, they remind me of Zero to Chaos and Coast to Coast. Yeah. From a Final Stage Promotion Partners, they remind me of them. <laughs> I already told Zero to Chaos about that. What'd he say? <laughs> let, let me pull up the, the message, because it was funny. Could continue. Uh, anyways, they don't like Buzz. Like, hey, you trying to take our top spot? We were here first. Start so trying to kick him. To which Buzz uses his inner voice again, saying, "Put on your helmet." And as soon as that foot came by, ink. Ah! K and Palel all day. <laughs> Did the voices? Yeah, uh, I believe. Uh, they were, yeah, I think they're musicians. I think the uh, comedians. That, yeah, oh, yeah, they could be that, too. Anyways, can, uh... So anyways, uh, unknowingly, the rabbit and bunny pulled Buzz out of the, his restraints. Because the, the ducky... Foot got caught in helmet of Buzz. <laughs> ah! 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 Get off! Get off! 
And then he goes, and then yeah. he's out. So then Buzz sees Woody uh, over by the antique shop and follows him there. The way he runs into Bo. Woody! And Bo! Re- well, oh my gosh, you Really? Buzz lost some IQ points somewhere between yeah. three and four. Yeah, I mean, in third, he was confident. I mean, well, you know what? Maybe it was when he uh, thought he was a uh, Hispanic Buzz Lightyear, remember? Oh, yeah, he got reset. Yeah, maybe that's what happened. <laughs> But, um, that rabbit and bunny followed Buzz. Started whooping his butt, too. <laughs> Man, Space Rangers are getting worked out today. Uh, skip ahead a little bit. They enter, they re enter the uh, antique shop. Antique shop. Uh, they see the cat <laughs> named Dragon, which honestly, they should have done one of two things. They should have made the uh, okay. They made the cat seem terrifying. Yeah. They should have done one two things. They either should have made the cat extremely cute with big eyes, or an extremely ugly old cat. Like, they should have done one of those two things because that would have made it so much better. Eh, probably just want to do a normal cat. So, well, even more way. realistically. But when they saw the other half, the bottom half of that Is one, that what we look like on the inside? There's so much fluff. Now, Woody, unfortunately, lost some IQ points as well, because he sees where Forky's being held at, with one of the dummies being sentries, who are turning their heads like this the whole time. Uh, so I don't think they were doing 360. I think they were doing this. No, it was 360, because one, were dummies, their heads detached. Yes, I know that, but I'm saying, the way it looked, I don't think it was 360. Eh. i to watch it again to make sure. Yeah. But, uh... Bo Peep goes out there saying, thankfully you haven't got caught by the dummies. Why do you guys speak too soon, Bo? You should know better than that. So now Buzz is left with... Bunny, Ducky. And a little toy that is uh, basically the right hand of Bo. Yeah. She well, basically makes sure things... She's uh, basically a Polly Pocket little police officer lady. Yeah. And this is where the rabbit and bunny both shine very well with their ideas of how to get the keys to where Porky's is at. Yeah, they gotta get the key away from the owner. Yeah. Which is a like, little old lady. <laughs> yeah. So like, like, should we ride only like this? Hey, hey, we should do opera- first operation. Yeah, 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 let's do the first operation. What's the first what? operation? Oh, aren't you too cute? <laughs> <laughs> We're not doing that. Okay, second operation then. Look under the shelf. <laughs> and then the third operation they do, they, or they think of, is like a horror movie kind of thing. They followed her home. Yeah, the lady locks up, goes home, gets some wine, gets in a bubble bath, thankfully we see nothing, and goes to bed. Still, still unnecessary. Yeah. She's in bed, and all of a sudden you just see the, the, the duck and rabbit just rise up from beside her body. She's doing... <laughs> we don't see that over here. <laughs> no, that's a terrible plan. Hey, we just came up with three ideas. How am I going to come up with? None. <laughs> and Buzz starts to just look, how, how are we, we going to get that, that key? key? Cut. And then it cuts away. And I'm like, oh, man, they're going to do something ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, we're going to skip that next part. Just for a yeah. second. The comeback is like, man, how are we going to get that key? Here she comes. Drops the key right in front of them. Yeah, at this point, Bo has lost a sheep, it, which I just realized was a joke now. Little Bo Peep, she lost her sheep. The dummy ran off with them on her butt. Yeah, the, the sheep, uh, Billy Goat and Gruff, were biting the butt of a dummy. And Woody probably did the funniest thing to basically play, play toy. Got a phone. Looked like a Mickey Mouse, <laughs> Mickey Mouse uh, phone. And uh, well now Bo's mad at Woody, and has to go get some help from. I think it was kind of rich who played this guy. Yes, from a stunt action toy, which we all know how those are. What, what was his name? They advertised his Daredevil. Name. Hold on. Daredevil something. Duke Kaboom. Duke Kaboom. You need the Duke, you get the Kaboom. Ha! Ha! 
Yes. What's he doing? Ha. He's ha. posing. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Another thing. Ha. He liked to pose ha. a lot. <laughs> but um, they were gonna need him for the jump to get some rope across to where they need to go to the the cabinet. Yeah. Buzz and, and the rest of them show up. You get the key. How'd you do it? And wh which cuts to what the part we just talked about where she drops yeah. the key in front uh, of her. It was so great we can't really talk about it right now. It was such a difficult task. Very difficult. Yep, very. Incredibly difficult. <laughs> Don't want to say how they got it. What, can you blame them? <laughs> Dropped it right in front of them. It's like, I'll be probably like, do we have an idea for this? Just drop it off in front of them. <laughs> gotta, there we go. gotta love Pixar. Oh, and the, one of the lost toys was one of the greatest Easter eggs of all time. The first Pixar uh, animation, right? Yeah, the little tin toy that was the one-man yeah, band. Tin. When the human animations were... Frightening. Frightening. Like Thunderbolt and lightning. Very, very frightening me. Mamma <laughs> Mia, Mamma Mia, Mamma Mia. Get off screen! <laughs> which, actually, which I also realized before, too. We saw Andy in the fourth movie. Compared to the first movie, his head's not so big anymore so they really have cut they really have improved improved with the human that. animation nowadays with toys it makes sense because the toys all toys look odd yeah example a <laughs> ash he's thin he's still 10 years old he doesn't age at all imagine okay i even have pop figures in this room imagine all these freaking toys coming to life when no one's home It'll be kind of bad for the pop figures because they're all stuck in the... I'm well aware. It's pulling a Stinky Pete. <laughs> that was his name, right? Yeah, Stinky Pete. Yeah. Tinkerbell coming off the, the block. These figures come to life with the otter, too. <laughs> the otter's probably the mount. <laughs> I got a... a you I jump force characters and... Two Luffy's meeting. <laughs> two Luffy's. That would be... Interesting to see. Yeah, especially with one being bigger than the other. Yeah. But, uh... I mean, he's, uh... That Luffy's as big as the Shanks. Yeah. Oh, and, um... Uh, Dark, Dark Luffy. Oh, Nightmare Luffy? Yeah. That'd be kind of crazy now, wouldn't it? Yeah. But, uh... Where were we at now? Um... Oh, yeah. Well, they get to Forky, and they're playing hide-and-seek. And Gabby Gabby basically surprises them. Convinces Woody to give up his voice box in exchange for Forky. Which Bo disagrees with. Yeah. With a right hook. With a hook. Unfortunately, uh, Technically, it's called a crook, but I'm, I'm nitpicking. Eh, right hook with a crook. <laughs> Should have saw that one coming. Should have. But, uh... I think I'm too tired. The one part that made me cringe a little bit was when they gr they grabbed Woody's pole string and his voice box was ripping out of his back. Yeah. That was a... Ooh. Ooh, no. Uh, they gotta, like, you gotta admit, though, that dummy does a bang-up sew-up job. That is true. That's later on. We're getting ahead of ourselves now. I'm sorry. Anyways, Forky gets caught again. Seriously, like, Forky's like the magnet of just getting caught. To be fair, he's not very flexible. He's popsicle sticks, Play-Doh, a spork, and pipe cleaner. Okay, very true. And googly eyes. And whatever is his mouth. Rubber band? Play-Doh play clay. Yeah. But, uh, he gets caught again. They all make it outside. Fight off the cat. And, uh, not, and Woody basically says what his real problem is. He just wants to be useful. He doesn't want to be left behind. He doesn't want to be a forgotten or lost toy. Because that's, uh, he doesn't want to be a lost toy because being a toy is all he's ever known. He's always been the favorite toy. Yep. Which makes me wonder why uh, Bonnie even liked him in the first place when she found him. Yeah. And like, Andy was even said, this is going to be your best friend. No matter what happened, he'll always be there for you. Meow. <laughs> Over her head. Well, the thing is, yeah, she was in pre-K, so. Yeah. I'll go, I'll go in one ear. Where to go? Now, Lost. Do, you, do you know what I have to say? Why? Imagine if Andy comes back. Hey, Bonnie, how's Woody? Who? Oh, crap. I don't know. Imagine if um, Andy was at the fair. Woody? <laughs> you know, how could have ended actually said Andy should probably, uh, uh, those toys come back to life and we love you, Andy. Ah! 
What have you got? I mean, honestly, if they made another Toy Story, not with the, you know, new the, uh, the cast right now, where the toys come to life and the person knows about it, wouldn't that be kind of cool? I think that'd be breaking some rules. Uh, maybe like a person... Oh, but, uh, let's get back on track. Okay, yeah, back I, on track, back on track. Because I'm falling asleep. Anyways, I've been up pretty Bill Pete gets mad at Wardy for basically saying he doesn't want to be a lost toy when she is a lost toy herself now. Yeah. Kind of a reaction, but I guess I can see where it's coming from. Mm-hmm. Uh, her little police officer thing, uh, the bunny and rabbit, and Duke Kaboom. Yep. Uh, I almost forgot his name there for a minute. All leave. So what he's then saying to Buzz, no, no, he's left behind. Go back inside. And Buzz goes, and he left me behind. What do we do now? In her voice, go back to the RV. Go back to the RV. Basically. Go back to the RV. Go Same back to the way, but Go, 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 go back to the okay. RV. <laughs> oh, jeez. And at this time... One, the parents are trying to leave, and Bonnie's wanting Forky. Hey, Forky, hey, Forky. Oh, hey, and, kid. Oh, and then my favorite part. She, yes, he, uh, no, he's like, what do I do? What do I do? Buzz Lightyear to the rescue. Good, this voice, this voice, this voice. No, voice, no, no, voice. no, 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 no. Before that, before that. Oh, before that? Yeah, at, when Buzz leaves, Jesse's in charge, basically, now. Oh, yeah. And, they're, and the parents are about to leave. She's like, what do I do? What do I do? I have an idea. She jumps out the window now. <laughs> and we're like, why is everybody coming out the window? <laughs> she pops the tire. Smart. Smart idea. Really smart. And the father has to replace it. It takes all day long. Uh, so, now, uh, let's see. Back to current. Yeah. Because nothing really happens with the other toys. No. Which is kind of sad. Uh, but but uh, let's jump ahead a little bit. Let's leave some for the, uh, uh, the people. Yeah. Uh, let's jump ahead. Buzz comes back to the RV. And says, okay, good news. Because Bonnie and her mother did go to the antique store. Forgot her backpack. Yeah, left her backpack there. So Buzz is like, okay, Bonnie left the backpack at an antique store. Or what are you in Bo or what are you in Fork here at? She's gonna remember it. Uh, she's gonna look around for it for, and remember it and go back to the antique store. Everything here, honey? Yep, everything's here. Oh crap. So he starts pushing his button trying to get information. Yeah. And, and the mom's like, How do you turn this thing off? Just put it in the cupboard, honey. Uh, 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 and as soon as his head was in there and he couldn't be seen, you left your backpack at the antique store. I left my backpack at the antique store. <laughs> Smart move. So now, what do you go? Now, when he's back in the antique store, literally, Gabby Gabby was smart enough to know that he was going to come back because as soon as he opened the curtain, now boom, her with the dummies, which freaked people out too. Yeah, but uh, he did. He did to say, just give me. Just give me the fork. You can have my voice box. So they take this voice box out. Please for somebody poison the wolf. They didn't ever did specify what happened to Woody's record, but I just yeah, I just took his thing out and just left it out. Yeah, uh, with uh, the voice box was put in Gabby, and her record was put in, and she's now like, I'm gonna go play with uh, the girl Harmony, who's gonna be my new kid. Yeah, the owner's granddaughter. Yeah, she wanted to be with Harmony. The whole time. And you She's see, the perfect little girl. And, like, I understand. Like, she was really hoping this would happen. It was, like, oh, so sweet. She actually has, you know, she's not really all terrible. She's just misguided. And she pulls her string. I'm Gabby Gabby. I want to be your friend. What do you have there, Hominy? That's all I found. Oh, you want to take it home with you? No. Nope. Nah. <laughs> Tosses it. In a soapbox. Like, like that. <laughs> I'm just, like, everybody in the story. Oh. Ah. Ouch. Even what he's going, ooh, was not expecting that one. <laughs> if Forky was like, that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> Hold on, pause right there. I need to make sure we're still filming. We're still good. And resume. All right. So Forky gets placed back in the backpack, and Woody stays behind to help Gabby. Mm -hmm. So I'll know that, look, Harmony maybe wasn't the right kid for you. There's always a toy for a kid. This one wasn't that. But there is a little girl named um, Bonnie. Bonnie. Thank you. I've got so many names in my head right now. And she could be your the child that you need to be with. So, Bo Peep, the stuffed animals, which, yeah, Bo Peep has changed change of heart because the little police uh, Polly Pocket is saying, he believes him. He asked you for help. And they're trying to get through the maze of blades. <laughs> Not really blades, like pipes, pillars, yeah, yeah, with the horses on the on the carousel we're at, and as she's trying to time to when to go, she goes, 
Wait. <laughs> oh yeah. On the count of three. Uh, one, uh, well, this whole time the little girl. Uh, one, two. Wait. <laughs> Bunny and Ducky get swept up. <laughs> They're really in fact the whole way, and you see it. And Shibo tries to explain to her that he's always done what's right for his kid. Da 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 da. da. Yeah, he always thought of the kid first. Mm-hmm. But he also never left the toy behind, no matter what happened. Mm-hmm. To which one she liked about him. She goes back in the skunk cart, skunk mobile. And they use a skunk car. And let's see, they, they the, use it to drive a uh, the, the, uh, baby carrier. The uh, toys in the RV are, ha- are hijacking pretty much the RV to get them back there. Yeah. They get a little uh, carriage, and they're dragging it. Skunk! Ah! No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the ones in the RV. Yeah, I know. They're yeah. holding the RV. No, they're, they're, they're RV. on the brakes and the pedal. Oh, oh, that RV. Yeah. Sorry, I thought we were talking about RC. No. Yeah. So before he gets back, tells Buzz, Woody says, meet him at the carousel. Let's hijack this thing. So they... they... Make a right! Now! Then they get uh, they get a hold of the brakes, and it's going... Arr! Arr! Pull er, over! I can't! It's a rental! Er, er, er. Stop! Go! Stop! Go! Stop! Go! Seriously, whiplash right out of the back there, right? Seriously. I'm was, I was surprised Bonnie's not freaking out. Surprised she hasn't thrown up yet. Uh, they eventually get them to the carousel. We'll, 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 we'll get yeah, they get to the carousel. So that, that part's caught up. Yeah. They have like 15 police officers behind them. And the, and the, the, the unicorn is like, <laughs> the dad's totally getting arrested now. See, that was like his, that was like his life go right there. Get the dad arrested. It's like a weird cartoon of like Toy versus Dads. Which well, would be great right, revenge right, for right, Woody. We, we've got you all caught up on that one. Let's bring you to the other one. Right. So now, Bo, Woody, and the gang. I'm just saying that kind of yeah, yeah. stressing name. I'm going to get confused. Yeah. They go into the carnival. They're starting to run on the roof. Da, da, da. Hold on. We got the bunny part here. Well, I mean, I was getting to that, but they still ran on the roof to get to there. No, no, no. The first part where we need the antique store dragging the uh, baby carriage. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I forgot about that. They pull it off, and it falls over. People think, oh, no, poor baby. Pull it back up. It's a dummy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you calling dummy? Dummy. The same goosebumps. It looked like it. It did look like it. But they get to the... They're running on top of the carnival stands. All of a sudden, Gabby stops because she hears a little girl crying. Uh, did, didn't they do the jump first? You know, remember what I'm talking about? Yeah, on the, from the Ferris wheel to the stand. You know what? Yeah, jump first. Yeah, Duke of Boom had a problem at first we didn't talk about. When he was a to- uh, back when he had his first human. His only human. His only human. Uh, his only human saw the tri- uh, commercials for him. Duke of Boom! He can jump the ramps! Well, I don't think the, only the kid run the bump uh, far Probably enough. not. Gave up way too easily. Only did it one try. Yeah, seriously. I didn't go one try. I'm like, let me tell I'm doing something wrong here. Let's see. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> that was wrong. And basically gave Duke Kaboom self-esteem issues. Yeah. But this time, let's see, before it was a four-foot jump, this was a 40-feet jump. And so they, yeah, and he goes, and then he goes over the moon. <laughs> uh, and, when he, and he's trying to get to the hole of a O from a stand. Probably about that big. Yeah, and this happens. <laughs> The motorcycle goes through, but he head, his head clips it. Yeah, and he goes, oh. And everybody was like, ooh. Oh, oh. Nailed it. <laughs> everyone in the theater was like, ooh. And then he goes, try to. Nailed it. <laughs> so anyway, now they're running across to get to the, car- to get to the carousel. And Gabby Gabby stops because she hears a little girl crying. Now, this is the part that made me cry. This is, yeah, this is the part I was like, oh. oh. So Gabby decides to try this new uh, with this new little girl who's crying because she's lost. Yeah. She uh, gets into the light, sits down, they pull her string. Oh, I'm no, Gabby. No, uh, the rabbit and duck uh, rolled a ball over to where she was at. Oh, uh, I thought she pulled. They looked like all oh, total acting right there. And, go, and the little girl walks up to her, cr- like crying tears and tears. Are you lost too? I'm Gabby. Gabby, I want to be your friend. Okay. So oh, she a little heartwarming. Gets the 
it gets the courage to go talk to a security person, reunites with her parents. It's heart touching. It's sad. It made me cry. And redeemed the character well. Yeah. Because the first, let's see, second movie, Stinky Pete got taken away by a little girl who loved to decorate. Uh, basically, what my niece did. Yeah. <laughs> and let's see, hugs a lot. Bear fire. Oh no, he got strapped to a truck. Oh, that's right. Who got in the fire? No one did. Oh. The game always got fired. Oh. Okay. Literally. Until the aliens. The claw. <laughs> but, uh. Anyways, they make it to the carousel. The RV's parked there, and they got the overhang out. And Buzz has Porky take care of locks. Porky, I have a job for you. The dad does not get arrested. He goes back to the truck. Clock. <laughs> what is worth this thing? And here you see Porky pushing the <laughs> lock back. Just laughing. His forks off. <laughs> His prongs off. Yeah. So, they all meet up. Everybody sees Bo. Bo? Oh my gosh. Bo decides to stay behind as a lost toy to help other toys. Which is very noble of her. Woody decides to do the same thing. Takes his badge off. Gives, gives it, it to Jesse. Jesse. And it was sad because basically it was a goodbye now. And it was probably the scene where Tom Hanks was crying. Yeah. And, um, uh, they also did goodbyes. Forky comes and says, bye Woody. Bye, Porky. Porky? Wait, who's taking care of the locks? <laughs> Literally said that right before you go, oh, wait, if Porky's right here, who's dealing with the locks? Porky, if you're here, who's messing with the locks? <laughs> <laughs> I looked at him and I was like... <laughs> so they all get back in place. Bo and Woody get back to the carousel. The bunny, bunny rat, uh, the bunny duck and Duke Kaboom. Mm -hmm. And little police girl stay with the carnival. They're basically gonna help those toys find their people. Yep, they uh, pretty much that it goes back to that one concession where the dude, uh, the stall guy, is not paying attention. He's just listening to music. Yeah, and they pretty much make them win every every kid win a toy. Yeah, those thing. The rabbit just goes <laughs> punches the thing. I think Woody just goes. <laughs> yeah, sold out the whole thing there, and like so now what do we do well. I got an idea. This guy's like... Takes off his headphones, looks... What the... <laughs> Throws them off. And all of a sudden, they're having a duck start growing big. Oh, that was, a, that was the, th uh, the second one. They cut back and they go, We're not doing that. He's like, Okay, okay, how about this? No, no, there was whole, one whole thing. It was one whole thing? Was I one thought one it was... Thing. Oh, now, no, you're thinking of uh, the cre end credit scene, aren't you? Yeah, that was the whole, that was that was what it was talking about. Oh, okay. Yeah, they start growing big. The rabbits are shooting out lasers. The ducks are breathing fire. Work with all their imagination again. Um, we're not doing that. I have a better idea. Help more toys get find a person. Exactly. You can really shut your eyes. Yeah. Yes. Cool, cool. <laughs> but the one scene before this, before the end of credits, I want to say this with a lot. I like to say this with a lot because it actually was very heartwarming. The RV's leaving. Buzz looks out the back window, sees Woody on top of the carousel, to where Buzz just says, to infinity. And then Woody goes, and, and beyond. beyond. Bailey's saying their final goodbyes, and that's the end of the movie. Oh, I just want to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we grew up with Toy Story. Uh, this hits where the heart Do, do you want to know how old we were when Toy Story 1 was out? Uh, newborn? Three? We were three. Man. So, yeah, so we grew up with that movie. We were two or three. Yeah. Then Toy Story 2 came out, Toy Story 3, and now this one. It just ties the story together. It's like, ah! My heart can't take much more. It's also... <laughs> the movie was amazing. We loved it. If you uh, if you watch this whole thing and you haven't seen the movie, do it. Go watch it. It's really good. I guarantee you, if you enjoyed the past three Toy Story movies, you'll enjoy this one. It will play your heartstrings to death, though. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> but uh, one thing I was surprised though, we didn't get a Pixar short in this one. No, I guess they just I think they just wanted to make it to the point. Yeah, but. Guys, that's going to end it for today's Random Cinema. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and remember, guys... Oh, before we forget, I almost forgot about this one here. It was actually about the actor for Mr. Potato Head.
I think he actually passed away. Oh yeah, he did. Uh, they uh, found they used a bunch of uh, old yeah. lines of his. Here, the fact I got a fact right here. Don Rickles intended to reprise his role as Mr. Potato Head in Toy Story Four, but died in April 2017. Rickles' family then contacted Pixar and asked if there was a way to include him in the film. By reviewing 25 years of material, including unused lines from the first three films, games, and other related media for the franchise, and they were able to assemble enough to use within the film. To which, Pixar? That was nice. That's Pixar true. really does do well with their job. They and do. They do well with their actors, and even ones who passed on. Exactly. But, as I was saying, I'm a talk with Kim. I'm Dan. I hope you had a blast. And don't forget to stay random, folks. Peace out.